welcome to another episode of fish keep in jamaica welcome to my channel all right so i am going to be talking about a topic that uh a lot of fish keepers fish breeders um consider at time and that is why not open a pet store so several months ago i spoke to a proprietor for a pet store well a manager for a pet store explained to me that the cheapest thing in the pet store uh, where i purchased my fish is practically the fish all right a lot of persons says that they would actually um, go into the adventure of having a pet shop with a lot of fish aquariums and they'd be selling like whether it be online for those persons overseas or uh, in jamaica whether it be at the yard or uh, open up a little place and start to sell while you actually breed the fish at the back of a yard or a big property and you actually sell um somewhere else now here is a drawback with that now whenever you have a fish farm and let's say you're gonna start a um a business in the sense that you're gonna be um selling these fish in which you actually keep you're gonna find a lot of limitation one of the limitations that you're gonna find is that you're gonna be restricted to the amount of fish that you can have uh in the sense that in the pet shop itself because you know you're gonna be have to depending on the fish to actually breed uh so that you can actually get stuck uh to to sell and when the fish do breed you have to wait a while for the fish to grow before you can actually um sell those fish for a, a profit so as to maintain your light bill your water bill your expenses if you you know other expenses right it is very difficult to actually have a fish farm and a pet shop for me personally i have considered it several times but after weighing all the pros and the cons i decided that it's best for me to just keep the fish sell the fish whenever um the, the time comes for it to be sold and continue the whole process again for example goldfish goldfish in jamaica well for me i don't know about anybody else but goldfish in jamaica is best bred between uh the about december between december and february right uh during the warmer period of the year you might get sprinklings of goldfish eggs but you're not going to get that in uh such a high volume like what you will get in december so therefore uh the goldfish stock would have to heavily depend on these three months um to actually get your fish to spawn and for them to grow so therefore they will all mature at the same time so therefore you will uh actually you know persons tend to persons tend to like goldfish in jamaica so more than likely your goldfish stock would be depleted uh before the end of the year or uh, with probably within two months right so therefore you'll be out of goldfish and uh you will have to probably source goldfish elsewhere to suit uh the, the customer's demand now in my wife in, in my in my thinking right i believe that uh if you are going to have a pet shop uh you have to look at more than just fish you're gonna have to look at uh you're gonna have to look at medication you're gonna look at, uh, have to look at the little details that go with the aquarium itself you're gonna have to look at aquarium you're gonna have, have filtration system the different types and and they are not cheap right as it said in the earlier on in the video uh the early the, the cheapest thing within the pet shop is the fish itself right when you talk about a canister filter in jamaica prices are about between 25 to 30 thousand dollars for one and let's say you open a pet shop i would probably need about six of them to start uh that's six times 30 uh that's a good amount of money right as three six are 18 that's 180 thousand dollars just for canister filter alone plus you're going to actually uh, build a few aquariums which is going to cost you some amount of money so therefore the stock itself is going to be a, a, a the costing is going to be a lot right um breeding the fish and selling the fish whilst you might sell a fish for 400 dollars and go back to the pet shop and you see it sell, being sold for uh, 800 dollars that's just the way of life right uh if you do have a large fish farm and you have a little outlet in which you sell your fish uh you will probably might see a little bit more profit however that profit is going to be dwindled down uh, when it comes down to your expense because now you're gonna have a little bit more expense right so it, to me it doesn't really uh 
match up right it's either one or the other and that's one of the reasons why i do not have uh an outlet in which i actually say all right listen i'm going to be selling fish and this is what fish i have uh i cannot breed all the different type of fish that persons actually demand so therefore uh my fish stock within let's say that i have a fish store right my fish stock would have to be um replaced by someone else for example somebody might be a koi breeder specialist somebody might be a barb breeder specialist uh liberia specialist uh curry catfish pleco specialist all these type of fish right would have to come from somebody who can de deliver them in high volume right uh, one of the worst things that can happen to a pet shop uh someone who actually sell fish is to actually have a whole bunch of tank in their aquariums in their in their in their display area and within their tanks uh, you don't have much or uh, if any fish at all right and and and, and the, the proprietor or the manager or the supervisor will say to you uh fish are on its way fish might come fish might come by thursday or by friday or by saturday or by sunday right and then when you really circle around and hear that um the shipment is delayed and all that right that is one of the that, that's one of the things that uh you don't really want within your business right so uh actually considering both uh having a, a fish farm versus having a, a a pet shop some persons might say that but such and such do it right not even secret farms actually uh breed all the fish in which it actually sells to the public right a lot of the fish that comes to secrets are imported yes they do breed some of the fish however a lot of the fish a high volume of the fish in which they actually sell to different sections of the world and and you know in, in the states itself uh origin from other fish breeders elsewhere right thus strengthen the argument that having a fish farm and having a pet shop together as one is a strenuous activity uh one in which i i, I wouldn't advise to do that right um so these are these are just wise words coming from someone who have actually um delved in the business a little bit uh you know for for a couple of years and i've understand the game in the sense that how you actually trade fish in jamaica um but i've not gone out to say i'm gonna start well, persons might come to me and say hey i want three or four or six goldfish i want two car i want x amount and i do sell them right and when they sell when i sell them and they look at the price in which i sell them for they go to the pet shop and look at what the pet shop is selling and say wow you're, you're you're cheap man but that's just how the game is played right um thank you very much for stopping by uh, remember to subscribe share like and follow me on instagram at fishkeeping jamaica thank you very much for stopping by have a wonderful day bye back to some work now enough work moving around a lot of fish so to accommodate new fries bye